Hi everyone, this is Pine Chilling Gengar here, and today we're playing SDA week number one. So today we're doing post commentary. Instead of doing no commentary at all, we're doing post commentary. Maybe in the future we try and make live commentary, but for now, post commentary is fine. We're playing against Nico Ryan and their Liverpool FC. I am looking at this team. I expected most of the Pokemon except for Klefki. I actually expected the Slow King to come, but Klefki is, is completely fine with me. I'm gonna leave with Chimpao, because I think Zoroark could lead, so I'm gonna, always gonna go for Crunch. The only thing I resist, resist Dark is the Klefki or the Miascarada. But neither of them take the Crunch that very well. So, while I correct the slides here, I'm going to talk a little about our, my team. The whole idea of my team is to status condition their Pokemon. I have Toxic Spikes and Thunder Wave in the Quillfish and will wisp and Thunder Wave on the Rotom Heat. Because my win condition is this, the Goldengo, because it's Scarf with Hex. Nothing really takes in Hex except for the Zoroark, so we have to manage to kill the Zoroark as fast as possible. The bundle is actually a problem, because we don't really have switching for it. He did leave, he did leave with bundle. I do think it is Zoroark, so I, I just went for the crunch. I think it's Zoroark, no way they leave it with bundle. Okay, they just switch out. Let's see. They switch into Klefki. Okay, that's completely fine with me. So this Klefki... I am dark type, so I may need to prankster. So I'll probably just go for screens or spikes. So here I'm debating if I should go into Hatterene or the Rotom. Since Hatterene could bounce the spikes. The Rotom could give me momentum, and if I, s yeah, I was really thinking about it. Okay, um, so of my six Pokemons, my Terra Captain this week is Hatterene. It is Terra Fairy, so I did end up going for the Rotom. Uh, Hatterene is Terra Fair with Calm Mind because I think with the Calm Mind I could actually do a lot against this team. No, nothing really appreciates the Fairy. So we do got we do go to Rotom Heat here. They do they end up going for Reflect, which is completely fine with us. So I always go for Volt Switch here. Rotom has no purpose other than to pivot around. They switch out, it's probably Mad Sail, which we are really, really, really fine against it. It is the Mad Sail. So we're, we're completely fine with this, we're just gonna burn it right now. If this setup hazards, Jim uh, Pao is boots. And I know the Rotom Heat is boots. Jim Pao, I don't remember what item the Jim Pao is now, but we're, rather, we're not really weak to. The rocks, so we just burn it now. Yeah. So unless this is a chest of rest of berry, a chest of rest set, we should be completely fine. Yeah, we eat that rock slide. So I think yeah, we just we just switch to coalfish here. Set out the toxic spikes now would be super good. We get an intimidate as We can set up an Intimidate. And let's see what it goes for. Let's see go for Rock Slide again. Okay, so looking at the team, the Mudstone is burnt, Clef gives me the Tox Spike, Noivern is immune to Toxic Spikes, and Stick. 
if the iron bundle is boots, toxic spikes would not be that that important. And I wanna scout if this is banded or not. So I'm gonna end up switching into Ronom Heat again to scout the Earthquake. Cause Toxic Pikes just, just poisons the Masquerada and the Zoroark. This is not that big. He, he swapped out. Okay. Kana. Just the Iron Bundle again. This is not good. We don't really have a switching against this. Yeah, we don't we don't really have a switch in, so if they go for Hydro Pump, oh they go for Flutter, that's completely fine with us. What do they go? Uh they go into Mudsail again. Okay, I'm just gonna keep taking burn chip. So this this time we could we could switch into crawfish again. We just go for overheat to make to some damage on the mudsdale. Now, judging by that damage, that is assault vest. It did nothing, and they do end up going for earthquake, which is good for us. But now that we are minus two, we definitely gonna switch out into crawfish. No need to stay in here. Even if they go for Earthquake again, it's burned, a minus one. It's not gonna do anything to us. So yeah, I'm just cal I'm just calculating the damage here and we can see that it's a salt vest. So we're just gonna switch into Crawfish. Uh, yeah, the Crawfish. Uh, whatever they go, since this is a this, they don't have rocks, which is huge for us. And even if we go for Earthquake, we take the hit very well. They go for Body Burst, which is com even better. Completely resisted. We go back to full, almost to full. So now, I could go for Toxic Spikes, but judging that they went for the Iron Bundle, I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave, seeing if we go for the switch into Iron Bundle again. So they switch out, and they do switch into Iron Bundle again, which is huge, huge, huge for us. And we connect. So now Iron Bundle is paralyzed, which is so much, so much slower now. Everything should outspeed the Iron Bundle now, except for Harreen. Uh, we do not have a switching against it though, so instead of I was thinking if I just should go for Toxic now, I decided to sack the Rotom. Nothing, Rotom has no other purpose here anymore, so just I just went to the Rotom to sack it off. Out of the six months, Rotom was the least important one. He goes for the Freeze Die. And it's a bit faster, just go for Volt Switch. That's a free Volt Switch. Now, thinking about it, I didn't calculate in the moment, but that was Specs damage. That free stays was Specs damage. I didn't calculate in the moment, but I should have realized that was Specs. And we should have just gone for Overheat right there. But we're just go, gonna go for overheat now. They can't really kill us even if we go for rock slide. So let's go for overheat. It's not enough. And even with the burn, it's not enough. So probably just go for rock slide, yeah. So. Overheat. I could go just overheat again. But overheat could miss. So I'm just gonna go into cool fish. They can't touch me, anyways. Just keep Rotom as a sack. Since I don't have a switch in against Iron Bundle, just keep the Rotom just in case. Let's go Quillfish. Intimidate again. 
go for rock side. Yeah, this, this, this does nothing to us. So I could just kill this, or I could take advantage and just go for the toxic spikes now. Which that's what we did. We just want the toxic spikes now. It would die to burn anyways. Decided to switch again into Iron Bundle. So we set up a Toxic Spikes. So that means we go into room now and we just sack it off. Okay, now we go into room again and we just sack it off. No need for the room. Toxic Spikes is already up. So it's very important for us. And start by Iron, Iron Bundle is paralyzed. Could just go Chimpao. And we do get the paralyzed, so actually Gorum does not die. So we just go to Volt Switch again. Because that one shots Iron Bundle. They obviously have to switch out here. The they probably they could they have to switch out here, so they'll probably just go the mud set again. They're thinking about it. Yeah, the switch out makes sense. They'll probably go mud set. If we don't go mud set, we have to mention them, but they do go mud set. No problem there. Now. I think they died to burn now. They do not. Okay, so we kind of have to go overheat here. Let's finish it off now. Okay. So it's the first kill after after league after season goes for one of heat, and we managed to. Pick up the first kill on the mud stale. What does he bring now? So if he brings rogue, first good. That is the Noivern. So I went for a thunder wave in case he goes for a defog. It should just kill me here, but just in case they go for defog, I just go for Thunder Wave. And they do go for defog, which is so big. So it just paralyzes. Let's see if we land. They do connect. So that the Noivern is paralyzed as well. So both Bundle and Noivern are slower than the rest of my team, except for Hatterain, of course. So you just go for a free, free Volt Switch. And now, I expect the dragon move or, or boom boos. I just go for Hatterene here because nothing really couldn't really do much against me. You get paralyzed, so that's a free switch. Huge, huge, huge. So now we just just call mind since they're special. In like the best thing. They could do is go for boom burst. Just go for U-turn. That's completely fine with us. So we do have protect the leftovers to to get a little more he uh, health back, and we have draining kiss to heal back up most of the damage they do to us. So they go Klefki, which does not get a physical steel move. I mean, even go for player off is not really a threat. So the only thing I could really do is go for flash gun. If they go for light screen, we just keep spamming calm mines. So for now we just go for mystical fire and scout if they have flash cannon. They just go for light screen, which is completely fine with us. Now we go for mystical fire. We are a plus one special defense, there are minus one special attacks. So even if they go for flash cannon now, they would do nothing to us. They can't really do anything, so we just go for Coleman again. Any any other starter moves, we just bounce back. We just go for Reflect. Completely fine with us. We're just gonna go for Coleman now. They they can't really touch us at all, so 
We're just gonna take the opportunity now. And we go for another coal mine. They're completely free. There's nothing they can do against us. So as long as the collective stays in, we just keep coal mining. Broke. So that is the Noivern. So looking at the at, at the Neuver now, it's clearly not the Neuver, it's it's the Zorark because it's now paralyzed. I did not realize that in the moment. And I thought it was and I thought it was Neuvern. I just wanted to know what Neuvern was gonna do. They went for nasty plot. So this is when the moment when I realized, oh, this is Zorark, not Neuvern. So I like, okay. Let's tear a fairy to remove the ghost weakness. Just go for Drainicus. We are a plus three special defense, so even with the plus two, I'm not really scared of this. This is a plus three drain Terra Fairy Drainicus. So even with light screen, it should do over half. We go for agility, which is insane. Nasty plus agility Zoroark. We just set up in my face, even though I'm plus three. If any kiss goes in, it does like it almost all goes from full, even with the light screen on. So we just go, we just keep draining kissing for now. Uh, expect the shadow ball, go for hyper voice. Yeah, since we are a plus three, that does barely less than half for draining kiss and leftovers. We're gonna heal back a lot. We go up to 110. With the leftovers, probably 120. We can always go for protect to heal even more. So now they have a paralyzed bundle, a paralyzed Noivern. Light screen is still up. And if we go Klefki, we just go for Common again. So they have to go Mascarada. I got four. So this is this, this is the Mascarada. Uh, we just go for Drainicus. Yeah, we just keep attacking at this point. We just plus three, so no point in doing anything else. This uh, flower trick does does around half. And with Drainicus, the slight swing, they lost the dark type. Does a, a little more over half. But yeah, we just heal way more than they do to us. So this this Mascara is not really a threat. And since Flower Trick is already critting, there's no way they can kill us here. The Light Screen still has one turn, so I just decided to go for Protect now. Probably did not matter, I should have just attacked, but... We can... Yeah, the Protect was just a little more health. So it looks like they don't really have anything for the Hattering. So we could just keep draining kissing. Night Spring is off, so nothing should really take the draining kiss anymore. Go for the fire trick again. Bring us a Yeah, we kill the we kill the Masquerada here with Draining Kiss. Brings us 122 with the leftovers. Seems like they, they don't really have anything for the set. So they could go Klefki again and set up a light screen. Or they could just go bundle or northern. Without the light screen, none of them actually take a hit. They go bundle. At this point they have to they have to pray to get a freeze. So we just go for draining kiss again. Decide to go hide upon his death. They do not kill me. Draining kiss comes in. We have plus three so this just how it goes, yes. That should put us back to full. It does just put us back to full. So yeah. There goes the bundle. 
now the Neuvern and the Klefki left. Klefki can't touch us. Neuvern, I think even if he gets a crit, does not kill us from fall. Klefki comes in. So I decided to just attack it. Did go for light screen. The, it does kill the Klefki. And it's just the paralyzed Neuvern. Even if they somehow manage to kill the Hatterene, we still have Guard Chomp, Goldingo, and Chimpao untouched at full. There's no way we could lose this game. There's the Frisk, yes. Just go for Draining Kiss. Should, should just kill from full. Now they go for Terra, so it's with the light screen you might actually not kill. So they technically need two crits to just kill the Hattering. The Terra water, so yeah, Draining Kiss probably does not kill from with the light screen. Terra Blast. Absolutely nothing. We're just trying to kiss. The, it does not kill now. So we just go back to full again. And we're just gonna go for draining kiss again. And that's gonna be game for the, for for now. And we, we ended up with that 6-0 in the first week. Yeah, it's insane how how good this Hattering set was. I was not expecting just clean a 6-0. We probably got a little lucky with the paralyze with the power on the bundle. Worm should have died. But yeah, we just played this game very well. And that was a clean 6-0. Hope to see you next week.